And there's one other thing we want to talk to you about, and it's IT security. You hear a lot of the time in the news, these people are getting in access to databases of your password and you have to change the password or there's these phishing schemes that are going on, people stealing identities. Well, let me just talk to you just for a few minutes about IT security. We want you to be prepared. We want to protect you. The best way to protect ourselves as a university, as an entity like this, is to make sure you understand how to be a secure user of your account. So let's just talk about a few things that we have going on here. So first thing, devices and accounts. You really want to protect your property and your access. So realistically, make sure you have a password on all your devices. You have your phone. These phones that we carry around all the time, they have so much data on them, access to emails, access to bank accounts, access to all your friends and family. You really should protect that device with the password. Um, so passwords, there's a lot of good ways that you can build out a password. The, the new thing is to have a really long password. Um, we also note that in our particular case that you'll have to have some numbers and some symbols in the password to make it complex, but the way that computers are working nowadays, it can really easily crack a password with these uh, systems that they have. So just be conscious of your passwords and don't put the same password on every single account you have. If they break into your whatever account, your Snapchat account, they may be able to break into a few other accounts because they're going to try some other accounts that you have out there. So be careful on how you use your passwords and where you put them on your devices. So you have a lot of online accounts and I mentioned, don't go put the same password on all those accounts. Just be cautious with how you use those accounts and where you store that information. Back up your data. It's a big deal. I talked to you a little bit before about OneDrive being able to put your information in that online cloud storage. You should totally use that. Put that information in an online cloud storage. If you don't feel comfortable with the Office 365 and you have your own solution, go for it. Um, I put a lot of stuff in my Gmail account. I also put stuff in my OneDrive account. And I also just back up data on drives on my uh, computer. So there's a lot of different places I'm going to save my data. And I just got to tell you, like there's people that come into my offices every single semester with a broken hard drive, a broken thumb drive, and they want me to recover it. I can't do anything. It's really broken and you can't recover that documentation. Do your best to back yourself up, save yourself a lot of grief. If you're typing a paper and you don't have access to anything but an email, send an email of that paper to yourself and then it's saved somewhere. You'll have access to it at a later time. Social engineering. So you're new to college, you've probably already heard a little bit about this, but it's the idea of people trying to garner information from you and, and you're going to just freely give it up. And you may not think about, oh, I'm going to just give up my, uh, my social security number to this guy because they're asking for it because they said they're from the college. Be wary. Think about this. If somebody calls you asking for information or sends you an email asking for information, don't just freely give it up. Question it. Ask this person what company they're from. Hang up the phone, call them back. Make sure that they're the, actually the people that you're expecting them to be. You go look up the number. Look at the email that you're sending this back to. Make sure you're doing your due diligence not to let your information leak out there. Um, one thing that's happened quite a bit of time across the board in a lot of email accounts is this idea of phishing. And this is a very generic one that we pulled out a couple years ago. Now they're even getting much, much worse. They look so realistic, but the, basically people are saying, hey, we're the help desk. We need your email and we need your password because there's this breach. We're not gonna ask you for your password. We're IT, we could get to your password if we really, really wanted to. We can reset your password. So do not send your password out to anybody ever. It's not a great idea. Just be wary of all the information you see that comes into your inbox. It may be your CSU Pueblo inbox or any of your personal inboxes. And these guys that are out there looking to be uh, a little tricky, they're gonna make it look like they're your bank and they're gonna put a link in there and they're gonna even put the information like, do not trust um, these phishing kind of emails because you, uh, you could get hacked. And they are the hacker and they're putting a link in there and they wanna get your information, so don't do it. Just be cautious. Go into that URL, type in the URL address of the place that you think that it might be needing your information. Log into your account as you would normally. Do not use the links in your email. Not only can you get some phishing attacks and your information stolen, but there's viruses that can destroy your computer, can hold your, your computer ransom. I'm not trying to scare you here. I'm just trying to make you protect yourself. 
And finally, you really want to be cautious of identity theft because once you start using things online, you want to make sure that you're using in secure, trusted sites. So there's an HTTPS up in the address bar and it'll tell you that the site is green and ready to go. You really want to be cautious of who you give your information out to. So anyways, if you have any questions on IT security, anything in regard to IT in general, please give our IT help desk a call, 549-2002, help desk at CSU Pueblo. You can visit us here in the Lark on the first floor for the help desk. If you wanna visit me over in the Instructional Technology Center or some of my great colleagues, come on up. We are glad to have you here and welcome to CSU Pueblo, peace.